Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics channel with really interesting questions every day and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have 10 plus 30 divided by 2 and minus 6. So this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have, we have 10 plus 30 divided by 2 minus 6, so very simple on the first side, we have addition, we have division, we have subtraction, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, we have three options A, B and C, here is our question, so right now choose one option, what do you think is correct, and write your option down into the comment section, and of course we do want to use our calculators, let's use our super brain in our head, and let's check our answers in one minute. So here is our question, and one part of students solved this question like that, so we have 10 plus 30, divided by 2 and minus minus 6. So here is our question, and one part of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, let's go from left to right, let's look at the answer, so we have 10 plus 30 on the left hand side, which is equal to 40, and we have division by 2 minus 6, so we have division by 2 and minus 6, and we do this once more on the left hand side, we have 40 divided by 2 equal to 20, 20 minus 6, equal to equal to 14, so something like that, so one part of students solve this question like that, and as you can see we don't have this option right here, which is which is good for us, we don't have this option, but a lot of students solve this question like that, which is absolutely incorrect, so we should know about order of operation, because this is a very bad solution to start with addition and then division, so start from division then subtraction, so as you can see this is very very bad solution, so in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because this is chaotic order, we just solve this problem wherever we want, and it's really bad in terms of mass. So let's try to solve this question according to, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, we have a lot of steps, and let's solve this question according to a correct order of operation, because as you can see this chaotic uh, solution is not good for us. Okay, so we have 10 plus 30 10 plus 30 divided by 2 and minus minus 6. Okay, what is the first step according to PMDMC? First step parentheses, let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? For me personally, I don't see any parentheses. Okay, we don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part with parentheses. What about exponents? Let's look at it. Where do we have maybe squares, cubes? We don't have any, any of these powers, so we just we just skip this part as well. So as you can see, we don't have first two steps, so we don't have parentheses, and we don't have exponent, which is really great for us, so let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and a lot of students do this mistake, they say okay multiplication, now we should find multiplication sign at first, but multiplication and division this is one common group which has like the same priority, so we should find where do we have this multiplication and division sign, let's look at it. So right here we have addition, right here we have division, we are interested in this, so we should start from this division, because the last step is subtraction, we don't need it, so multiplication division group we have only right here in the middle, so we, so we should start from this, from this division, so we have division signs, and we don't have any multiplication sign. So as you can see, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, but we have division. So we should divide at first this, this expression 30 divided by 2. So we have 10 plus 30 divided by 2 equal to, equal to 15 and minus minus 6, which is equal to Let's look at it, so right here we have 10 plus 15, we have 25, and 25 minus 6 equal to equal to 19, which is which is option A. And really interesting moment right here, if you look closely, addition and subtraction, we have we have addition, we have we have subtraction. So as you can see, we have three steps: division, addition, and subtraction. So the first step, division, we divide right here in the middle, 30 divided by 2. Then we have addition and subtraction group, we have we have uh, addition and subtraction, but we should go from left to right, from left to right, what is the first sign from left to right, the first sign is addition, now we should add 25 minus 6 equal to equal to 18. So as you can see we should forget about this wrong solution, we, we should know that we should divide at, fir at first, then addition and uh, subtraction. So this is a very bad solution when we start from addition, of course with parentheses, this is a great solution because we should start from these parentheses, then we have 10 plus 30 in parentheses equal to 40 which is good, and then dividing by 220, yeah with parentheses parentheses, this 14 is, is a correct answer, but we don't have this option, and moreover we don't have parentheses, so we forget about this, this 14. Correct answer, according to PMDMC, is option 
option A, which is correct in our case. So let's write our answer. Correct answer is option Option A is a correct answer. So I hope you understand my explanation, but if you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.